how to add products to patreon shop hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step all you need to do in order to start adding products to your shop so there are going to be a few requirements first before we begin this um now if you go to my page and you will find this page right here which is you know your profile page basically you will have the home collections shop membership about and recommendations now if you don't see the shop option so if you don't see this one right over here, which is very important for this video, then that means you did not complete your profile. So just take your time to complete your profile, add all the necessary things to complete your profile. Address, name, whatever they ask you to do, just go ahead and do it. Um, also, I believe payment methods are going to be one of those things. But anyways, so just go ahead and complete your profile and then we can just go ahead and move on from here. So to add things to your shop, there are going to be two different ways. One way is going to be going to the shop option right here. So just go ahead and click on shop. And then from here, you will find um, yeah, your, your products if you had any, but most likely than not, if you're watching this video, don't have. So it is going to ask you to create your first product or it's just going to ask you to add new. Now, if you want to do it, uh, you know, regularly and you don't want to go to shop every single time, you can also do it from here. If you click on create, uh, it's going to show you two different things, post and product. If you click on product, it's going to open up the product creation page. So in here, you will need to add some details about your product. So let's just go in and get started. So the first thing is going to be the title of your product. Obviously, you just want to give it a name. Not too long, not too short. It's going to be short, simple, sweet, and it's going to let people know exactly what it is. So I'm just going to name it uh, example product in my case, because I don't really have a product to sell. And then the next thing is going to be the price. So for the price, obviously you would want to list the uh, price for the product. I'm not going to talk much about this because it is straightforward. So we can just go ahead and do 15 for this one. And then you would want to add some uh, something in the description. It's mandatory. You can leave it empty. And also the price does change in iOS, which is okay. Anyway, uh, so we, we wanted to go to the description. Uh, and basically add whatever you want. So here you would want to, you know, basically add all the details that people need in order to buy the product. You will need to tell them exactly what they're paying for, exactly what they're buying and what they will actually achieve when they purchase this product. So just go in and add some, uh, some sort of a description here. So once you add your description, you can also um, feel free to change the uh, text here so you can format it differently uh, bold italics uh i don't know why it did change here let me just add some random letters okay so once you're done with the description we can just go ahead and add the product file so this is going to be the actual product that we want so it's going to be either a video audio images or other files so most likely it's going to be a pdf uh, so if it is a pdf you can just click on other files and click on select file now it's going to be any files up to five gigabytes. So I'm just going to use this one. But same goes for images, audio and video. You just want to select that one and upload the uh, file that you want. And if you want to upload multiple, you can feel free to do so as well. It's not going to make it any different. So in my case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then we would want to add a hero image, which is going to be, um, you know, you could say the thumbnail of the actual product so people can see it it's more like a preview so just go ahead and add an image here um i think it is actually mandatory to do so so let's just go ahead and add this one even though it's not you know going to look great but anyways once you're happy with this you can just go ahead and click on publish at the bottom right and you're good to go you have your product on your shop now the only thing left for you to do if you're just getting started is just go back to my page and if you just go to shop, if it does show this eye, little eye icon right next to it with a, a slash, uh, it's not visible for others. So make sure you publish your shop in order for it to be visible because right now it says your shop is not visible. So just publish your shop and you know the, your products are go going to be listed for them and it's going to be shown for everybody. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful and thanks for watching.